What's going on guys, Greggles TV. One of the cool things about the Samsung Chromebook Plus, not only is it a Chromebook, but it's also an Android tablet and also it comes with this very, very cool S Pen from Samsung that you can use to draw on the screen, capture screenshots, all kinds of cool stuff. So right when you turn on the tablet without even having to download anything, you'll see at the bottom here, there's a little pen here. When you click on that pen, it gives you some options to do different things like capture a region of the screen, capture the entire screen, put a note, laser pointer mode or magnifying glass mode. So let's go into caption region. So what I would do is just press on the screen and I can capture a screenshot wherever I want as big or small. When I'm done, I let go and I'm gonna get a screenshot taken over at the bottom right and I can either copy to clipboard or annotate in Google Keep, so I wanna annotate it, which opens the screenshot up and uh, it's loading up here and you can see I can uh, look at this screenshot and write things on it if I needed to. So I'm gonna open up my pen right here. I'm gonna choose green for the color and I'm gonna choose a little bit thicker of an ink mark and I'm gonna write my name. And you can see it's very, very, uh, quick about uh, inputting whatever you're writing. It's with no delay, it looks great. And if you wanted to, obviously, you could hold it in your hand, kind of like a, if you're a painter, you know, grip it onto your arm. You know, I can't do it because you can't see it, but you can put it any way you want. You can stand it up. You can put it like a laptop if you like writing like that. But I'm just doing it like this because it's easier to record. And uh, you can add more colors if you want. And when you're done, obviously you can just hit save or discard or whatever you want. I'm just gonna close it out. But it works great. And let's go in here again and let's look at new notes. So I'm gonna open this up and say I was gonna take notes because I'm in a class or I just like writing things. I don't like typing all the time. I can do that. And again, you can put a, uh, a paintbrush or another kind of paintbrush or a pen again and choose the color of the size or whatever you want and it just works really, really well. No issues at all. I'm on a slippery uh, table right now, so that's why it's sliding just a little bit. And you, yes, I do write like a 12 year old, so that's why it looks ridiculous. But you see, it works perfectly great. You can save these to Google Keep, put them on Google Drive, whatever you want, it goes wherever you want to, and you can see you can save it here. Google Keep's cool because it will, uh, Keep all your things that you want. Let's check some of these other things that it comes with as well, like the laser pointer. So if I had something up and I was trying to teach somebody something, you can see it uses a little laser pointer that goes onto the screen and follows wherever my pen goes in real time with no delay. It's also going here in, you know what? Let me do this. Let me, let's turn off laser pointer mode and then let's open up a browser window. So I got my browser window open and say I want to uh, magnify that. So let's click on the magnifying glass and you can see I can magnify in very easy so I can see what it says. Maybe it's a picture I'm looking at or maybe the text is really small and I just don't feel like increasing in the zoom. I can do that anywhere with this little magnifying glass and it works great. You can see perfect real time. I'm moving around quickly and it's there. I'm taking my, hand, my uh, pen off the screen and it goes right back. Let's just turn that off, go in there and turn off. Another cool thing is obviously this runs Android apps and you can download Android apps that will allow you to draw on the screen. So I'm gonna hit my launcher here and I'm gonna open up Sketch. Sketch is an app made by Sony that allows you to draw on the screen and I'll do all kinds of cool stuff. So let's hit this plus. And let's do a new drawing. Let's do it in landscape. And let's put some cool stuff here. Let's put a beard. There you go, good beard. I'm gonna stop that and then go in here and choose, I'm gonna choose some hair. Make him look like Justin Bieber with a beard. There you go. Maybe make that a little bit bigger. I can't figure out to make this bigger with the pen. So I just use my fingers to make it bigger. That's just fine with me. And then maybe I wanna draw the eyes. So I will go in here and draw the eyes. I'm gonna choose uh, a neutral tone. Maybe make his eyes pink. I can't draw, guys, so remember that. Bear with me with when I draw. All right, here we go. Oh, 
Ooh, there's his eyes. Perfect eyes. And I'm gonna go in here and choose a nose. Way too big. Make that way smaller. So you can do cool stuff like this. If your kids like to draw, or you just like to draw, it's perfect for that. And when you're done, just hit that checkbox. And there you go, there's my guy that I kinda drew. And uh, it's just, a, it's just great for an artist. Someone that wants to uh, just be an artist, you know? And it, I'm not a huge artist, but and I'm not huge on taking notes, but some people are. Uh, it's perfect for that, and it's so cheap to do it, because you get, four, for 449 bucks, it's a Chromebook, so you can use it to, uh, you know, use it as a general browsing computer in some of the Chrome apps. But at the same time, you can go in there and uh, draw and take notes with the stylus or just download regular Android apps. And you can do this with any stylus uh, app. So I just go in here and type stylus and there's tons of apps in here that you could possibly use to draw because this runs Android and it can download them. So if you guys wanna check this tablet out, I will link it in the description down below. The more I use it, the more it grows on me. It's a very cool tablet slash Chromebook. Um, it's very light, it's like 2.3 pounds. Uh, so using this in my, my MacBook, my MacBook's I think three and a half, three point seven five 3.75 or something like that. And this just feels so light. And uh, it goes in 360 degrees. So if you like to draw when it's flat or when it's held up as a laptop, it can do that. It can go any direction that you guys want. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you down the road. Peace.